Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion review. This one is on episode 12, the final and last episode of Seikan Sukai No World Break. And I gotta say, um, it was a good episode. I kind of saw it coming where Shizuno and Satsuki were going to, you know, get hurt or something, which of course they ended up turning in stone. And one thing I didn't expect was Noroha to go like pretty much Super Saiyan from how it looked like at first, but it was pretty much him like unlocking some power or something from Pan um, Edward kept saying Pandora's box and he was going like his like super evil energy by the looks of it and he was literally gonna sacrifice the whole village to, um, carving a uh, spell on the dragon's back um, until finally of course you know Shizuno and Sasuke kind of they <laughs> it was kind of funny because I always tease how it's always I remember I remember but this time it was pretty I like the way they used it in the fact that this time it was Sasuke and Shizuno remembering and their past selves kind of um, went to, um, to, you know, helped Moroha out. Um, I do honestly gotta say I like Satsuki's um, past way better <laughs> than her normal, but whatever for that. That's just a little side thing. But overall, they help him out um, to re realize, you know, what he's doing and everything. And he goes back, not to normal, but he actually combines both, both of his past selves into one with, of course, him being Moroha, obviously. And it, he looked honestly really bad ass. I gotta admit that. Um, it was Edward didn't really do too much in this episode, considering his S rank. You think, you know, he would, but it just seriously makes it seem. That's one of the reasons I didn't like the series as much is that Moroha is way too strong. Um, I think it's called a Gary Sue, where the character just super overpowered. He just starts off like I guess kind of at a good level and all of a sudden just like whoa 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 like I said before it makes sense because here he does have some past self but he beats like the lightning emperor who is super strong he's obviously stronger from what it looks like than Edward and these are those are two S rank you know people and it just that's one thing that I don't care about too much about the show is that he's just way too strong just super strong um, one cool thing was, of course, everyone there, the Strikers, did fight and help him out, including Edward. And Maya um, was the one who summoned him and everything. Uh, when the, <coughs> I'm sorry, when the headmaster got hurt. Um, overall, in the end, uh, they used this. The uh, uh, he did like this whole huge spell and it just really made the sword super long and stronger, I guess. But they end up do end up killing the dragon, and it's a hap It's like overall really nice happy ending with everyone, you know, um, Edward them leaving now. But he kind of mentions that he they should be careful for the French, um, you know, the French guy, the the S rank in France, the leader of the French branch. Um, so I guess there's a possibility they're showing like oh careful for this that's a possibility of a season three a uh, season three sorry season two there is no season two yet but um as a season two but i wouldn't i don't think it would happen because honestly i didn't care for the uh, the season too much um let me finish my review of the episode first but after that it ended up being nice you know with the girls um everyone and everyone having a party and everything and they all get you know, Shizuno and Sasuke kiss him on the cheek. It was a little funny and cute stuff going on. Maya gets to hug him. And, you know, everyone's just, it's a happy ending. I enjoyed the happy ending. I love happy endings. It was nice. But, like I said, now I'm going to talk about the season overall. Um, it just felt like I didn't care for Moroha too much because he's way too strong. At Gary Sue, he just got super overpowered, way stronger than anyone, which makes it a little, like, what the heck, you know? And Satsuki honestly was kind of irritating. They didn't put as much emphasis on, as in Satsuki and Shizuno was main characters. It was mostly on Satsuki side, which Shizuno, like at her arc was, you know, she was important. But after that, she was she kind of went on the side, and she was always there, but nothing too big, which is kind of sad. In that character development, they could have done more with that. Um, Everything felt like they rushed everything as well. Like, especially this last arc, it was just so rushed. Like, 
everything was pushed into those last two episodes, you know? They could have, like, I don't know, shortened another arc or something for that. But, yeah, overall, that's all I got to say about the episode and season. Um, it's it's an okay anime. I, would, I definitely wouldn't be like, dude, you got to watch this, you know, to someone. But uh, it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. It did have a nice plot and premise of, you know, having your, um, like, past self kind of thing, your ancestors in you, and they're, like, they can be strong and you remember like, that kind of stuff and you fight these like monster things but that's another thing the metaphysicals they did play a big key in some of the things but a lot of them were just like eh you know Moro has got it it wasn't until the last boss the dragon one that was really like whoa it, is this possible that Moroha can't win against it and in only in the end it was only possible because of you know Shizuno and Satsuki helping him out but yeah, that's all I gotta say about the episode and season overall. Hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion review. If there's any, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed, you want to talk about, comment below as well. Or if you just want to talk about, the, you know, more about the episode or about how you felt about the season in general, comment below as well. And you know, till next time, guys. See ya.